Good evening. I don't have a spooky costume or anything. Um Yeah, it's 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 my jack-o'-lantern head. That's what we're go that's what we're going with this year. I remember last year um on account of having various things going on, um I did not do anything at all for Halloween. Um so now the, I'm like, okay, well, I, I can at least dress up a little bit. Alright, um... Volume's adjusted. Music is funky. I will say, if it's too loud or anything, let me know. Um, yeah. So this is Barry the Hatchet. Um, I should find and link its, uh itch.io page. I will do that at the end of the stream, I think. Um, but yeah, my good friend Mocha, that's right, Mocha from Sips, helped to make this game. They they are one of the devs behind it. The primary writer and lead programmer. Um, they had me proofread the script. I, granted, don't know how they've changed it since then. But from what I read, it is quite good, quite silly. And I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. So I hope you guys will um, enjoy it with me. A um, little bit of little bit of shameless friend promotion here, but they deserve it. All right, let's go. Um, excuse me, excuse me. I like how I like how she deflates. When she's, like, despondent. Like, her hair and everything. Can you not hear me with that mask on? I'll just take it off for you, then. No, I hear you just fine. Eh? Then you could have at least shown some sort of reaction. Like, I'm ready to serve you, master. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really, really need that drink. I can see it right behind you on that shelf, so be a pal and get it for me, KK. <laughs> Man, it's too early for this. Okay. The legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying you just to look at it. Oh, hi, hi, Higgins. Higgins has decided to join me for the the spooktastic read aloud. Actually, pick it up for me, okay? Just go on and grab it, okay? All right. This is a drink. Nice headpiece. Thank you. Hello, slime. How are you on this fine Monday? Okay. Well, I got beer. Here's your beer, ma'am. Oh my god, yay! This isn't it. This isn't the special collaboration beer with Idle Miracle Shine! Ma'am, I just got the one you were pointing at. You just want me to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of this horrid world, I'm accursed to live in! Is it? Well, shit, I don't know. Um... If there are that many people in my chat, then hi. Nobody has to say anything, but hi. Um, I would I would hope that many people came to watch Mocha's game, but if if not, that's okay. Um, oh, it might be because I have um a I I I am I embedded the. I embedded the I embedded the link in um my my promo post on Tumblr, uh, which is which sometimes like makes it fluctuate a little bit. Not everybody lingers, you know, but that's okay. Oh, I'm glad you think I deserve more viewers. Um, but you know, not everybody not everybody has 6 p.m. on a Monday free, so I'm not I am not um like molding about it or anything. So get on with it, then. Uh, checking you out? Of course, ma'am. 
I mean, get on with checking in the back. Find me my actual beer already. It's surely in there, right? It's a magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is in there as well. Besides, can't show up to a college party without it. <laughs> sure, ma'am. I'll go check. They managed to very accurately describe the experience of working in retail in this game, I feel. Even though it's like, you know, murder. I would honestly start murdering customers <laughs> if I were a serial killer working in retail. Here's that so-called magical back room. I should at least pretend to check around so she doesn't lose her mind when I come back without it. Oh. Oh. Seriously, don't sell this one to miners. Okay. Alright. This is the interact button. Here we go. Well, what do you know? I guess it was here all along. Funny I didn't notice it beforehand. Whoa, special edition beer. That's crazy. But do sell it to miners? Hell yeah, rock and stone, baby. Do the dwarves want magical girl idol beer? Alright. And here's... And there it is! Finally! After five gazillion years! Any longer and I'd have called for your manager. And you would hate that, wouldn't you? It's not as if he cares most of the time, but... Him coming in today would be not ideal. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. Now that'll round up to... Payment! I know, I know. Don't worry, pleb. And keep the change. She didn't even pay enough. And their secret hearts, yes. Good. I believe it. Also, hello, Johnny. Hope you are also enjoying this, this, uh... I was gonna come up with a, some kind of adjective for this Monday. But I don't, I don't even know if there's an appropriate one. Because this isn't particularly spooky. Like, it's a spooktober game, but it's not like... It doesn't invoke a lot of fear. Okay, excuse me, Higgins. He had to, he had to walk in front of my camera. Again. Ugh. Well, better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. You missed the first couple of minutes? Uh, the murder didn't happen on screen, but, um, smiles. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Keeping you here wouldn't be my first choice normally, but you're going to need to wait till after my shift. For now, that'll do. Time for six more hours of the- This mask is- Fuck it, I'll just- There we go. Got some dust stuck up there or something. Oh my god. Guess she needs to die. You... you killed Courtney. This sucks. Two of them. Two bodies that I need to store in the back room. And you've got that scar on your face. I don't think anyone else is in the store right now, so if I'm quick about it, it should be fine. Then... then that means you must be... Alrighty, here goes. The absolutely wicked and awesome Bearwater Grizzly Killer, aren't you? I'm like your number one fan. Huh? I mean, okay, Hellspawn underscore 32 claims he's your biggest fan because he actually went to the side of the first murder you actually laid claim to, but I'm calling bull on that one. And now I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever parasocial lunacy he's on. Huh? Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes the trailer park killings weren't on you. Cause like, look, see, give me a sec. Rummaging fervently. Here we 
we go. As we can see from one of the first newspaper clippings of the event, the cuts weren't all crisscrossed, and that's your whole thing. Can't make your debut without your signature prepared, right? No, those were me. Ugh, really? Damn it. Well, if he doesn't know I won the he won the bet, I don't know it. I don't owe him, right? I uh, okay, never mind that. Listen, kid. I am not a kid. I am 21 years young. Which is a thing that old people say once they're trying to deny the fact that they're old, so I must be old. Hee <laughs> hee. So what's your name? My name Oh yeah, I'm Pearl. It's literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. It's so funny that she starts talking to you like this when like when like not two minutes ago she was calling you a pleb and saying she'd call for your manager. Average white girl behavior. I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. So, you're not going to sell me out? Huh? Are you for real silly? I mean, sorry, but why the hell did I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. At least I think I am. You've got the right scars, but Courtney's, Courtney's body doesn't seem to be all hatched did. In fact, it seems way more knife stabbed. I didn't get the wrong guy, did I? No, it's still me. Okay, yay! FYI, I'm the creator of your GeoCities fan page. It's all me, if you are curious. I'm not exactly a coder, so paying attention to do that took a pretty penny. Or paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. Okay, whatever. Just give me a second to think about this. Ah, of course, of course! Clearly excited. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can live. Oh my god, yay! I mean, if you wanted to kill me, would definitely be the best way to go out. My only request would be that you don't hide my body so that I'm on the news, but I get to stay alive! Yippee! I've got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Courtney? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing that I was the one who wandered in here, but if you're not careful, someone else will get a nice eyeful of her. And I'm, you know, not like the other girls. Heh. <laughs> So they won't have the same reaction as me. I agree. That's why I... Um, you mean we, right? Please! Let me hide the body! Please, please, please! No. Oh, you're shaking in your little booties? Hi, Mocha! It's it's Mocha. It's the guy themself. The guy who worked so hard to make this game a reality. Well, they weren't the only one, but yeah. Um... Okay, okay, I will make an effort not to embarrass you by putting you on the spot too hard, but I am glad, I am glad you've come to see, um, the, the shenanigans we're getting up to. I'm very excited to see the final product, even though I, even though I proofread the script. I'm, I'm so, I, I, I'm really loving the art direction. Please, 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 kid, I don't have the time for the... Not a kid! Whatever. Listen, I understand the woes of modern capitalism. You can't do your shift and hide a body at the same time, right? I have a, yeah, I have a chunky one. I have a big boy desktop now. Um, what, did it have trouble running on other people's computers? Also, hello, Sholil. Welcome, welcome. Two people are better than one. The more people involved, the more tongues that might wag. Come on, you think I'd rat you out? Really? You won't brag on some forum that you helped me hide a body? Mm. That's what I th Hey, is there anyone actually working here? Hello? Might as well walk off with all this stuff that- Oh, you're off to work? Oh, okay. Have a- have a good one, Sholale. Enjoy your day. Thank you for saying hi. Please, please at least let me mop up the blood. Please! This is the Mocha Sips game. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. And it's come out very nice, as you can see. Just the art is so funky. Okay, okay, fine. Just... Oh, I like the little guitar riff sound effect there. Yippee! Yes, yes, yes! Keep... Quiet. Oh, okay. Rock on, Dish. This floor will be clean as a whistle when you come back. 
Obviously, she needs to die, but later rather than sooner. She's useful for now, and I'm on the clock. If only killing paid better. Um, hello, hello! I need help here, please? Uh, yeah, coming. Oh, oops. RPG Maker runs like 5 billion commands at the same time when you try making it 3D, unless you do a lot of specific setup pre-working. Oh. Huh. I, I, did, n I did not know. Yeah, I, I would not want to remake the game from scratch either. Well, Mocha is a game developer, so they know a lot more about this stuff than, than I do. Alright. I don't have any items on me. I don't need any. I keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Hey! Give us all your money! We're not afraid to put up a fight! Come on, open up the cash register! What will you do if I don't? We'll, uh... We'll... We'll beat you up! Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Chad! Oh, uh, you're too intimidating, and you have a mask, too! It's no fair! Get us an energy drink to even out the odds! I can't be bothered arguing with children. Just a sec. Uh-oh, you're about to be timed by the customer's patience. You need to find what the customer wants, and there are tons... Six. Of different places the item could be! Oh boy! Behind the counter, sure, but under the counter as well, or in shelves. If you're stuck, you can look at the little list you made in your key items to remember where to check. As always, when working in customer service, there is the dreaded threat of, let me talk to your manager. And in this situation, you do not have the trump card of being your own manager. If your manager gets called, he's going to come down and discover the body you've hidden in the back room. This is unideal, so make sure to serve everyone quickly. Ready? Then go! Oh boy, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. Uh, fridge. Oh, shit. Oh, it actually pauses. That's good. List of store sections. Hey, wait, that's really handy. Oh, okay. I should actually check in more detail what's in all these places later. You recommend saving frequently. I will do that. All right, this looks like an energy drink. There we go. Oh, I have to actually go back. <laughs> Fuck. Noom. Hi. Here you go. Want to try beating me up now? You're too scary. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. While I'm manning the store, a bunch of people are going to end up coming for help, as per usual. I need to, if I need to remember what kinds of locations the store has, I've got that note I wrote for myself earlier. On that note... Psst, Grizz! Kid? Shh! Listen, I need some sort of way to talk to you while you're out front! Do you have a walkie-talkie or something we can use? Just slide it right under the door! Won't it be a little big for under-the-door exchanges? Shh! I remember seeing it placed conveniently under that orange cone you've got on the counter. Just get it fast. Okay. I really like that this one is timed, too. Like, like Pearl would do something really stupid to fuck all your shit up if you uh, failed this one. Come on. There we go. Walkie-talkie! Get... Alright, take it. Yay! Thanks so much! I'll treasure this forever and ever and tuck it into bed at night or something! Normal. Most normal woman alive. I like how all the customers are little ghosties. Hey, uh... <laughs> you got anything special in the back rooms? If you get my drift. <laughs> Is he onto something? She didn't text her true crime forum friends, did she? 
I'm sure it's like super easy for you to sneak in grass into a job like this, right? I'll uh, pay a lot. None of that, sorry. Yeah, weed! Yeah, weed mention! Man, I accidentally gave the rest of mine to a trick-or-treater. <laughs> that kid is gonna be tripping balls tonight. Okay, the more, the more you ask a game to do things in one frame, the more RAM it'll use. The way most games manage their performance is creating systems that force these commands to be run out during separate frames, since people are probably not going to notice whether, say, an enemy's movement path is one frame behind yours or not. But RPG Maker doesn't allow a, a lot of customization on that, because it's a visual scripting engine. Okay. And, and you, do not, you do not do the JavaScript. I hear JavaScript kind of sucks, but I'm not a programmer, so I wouldn't know. Oh, this sucks. Can I get some gummies? I'll just convince myself they're edibles. The only gummies that they sell here are some sour brain worms, sir. Yeah, I'll take those instead, then. Oh no, it's fine. I find I find the game development end of things very interesting, even if I don't do it myself. Yeah, I'll take those instead then. Can you, uh, go get it? I just want to hang out here, ma'am. Pretty strong stuff if just a bit made you act like this. You bet, ma'am. Go get the gummies, yeah? Alright. Yeah, I heard that the thing that sucked about the Unity bullshit was that, um, that was the thing- Oh, wrong button again. That was the thing that, um, most, uh, game development students used to learn games, so now they're just like, they have- they're fucked. They have to completely relearn stuff, um, oops. They have to completely relearn stuff if they want to try something new to make their games now. Oh, you paused a Godot tutorial for me. Aw, I'm so glad. Here you go. 279, please. Hope this makes up for things. Huh, <laughs> I bet it will. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Masked Madam. Phew, it's starting to slow down. Should be able to check in on Pearl after this group clears up. Hey, oh, I'll be taking three of these, please. Okay, that's 1234, sir. Got it, got it. I know what's going on with you, though. What you must be thinking right now. Buying three boxes of chocolate? Man, I must be on my cheat day or something. But no, 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 it's much worse. You see, my girl is mad at me. I see. Just look at how cute she is. I don't know what I did to tick her off, but she didn't pick up any of my calls this morning. We always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity-flop. And on Halloween of all days, what about our outfit coordination? We needed to decide that together on the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to piss her off. Whatever the crime, I hope that this will begin to show some of my remorse to Courtney. Something that looks like her. Sorry, we do not sell ugly people. Or dead people, for that matter. Teehee. Unity had vastly different management for a long time. Yeah, I know that uh, John Ricciatiello, whatever the fuck his name was, was the CEO of EA before he was the CEO of Unity. And also, he just recently stepped down as the CEO of Unity after all the backlash. So, like, LOL. LMAO, even. 
Well, I'll see her during class. If I cry in front of her, hopefully she'll take me back. Anyway, happy Halloween! Uh... That stain under the door there, is that a... Uh... It's that time of the month. Oh, my bad. LOL. LMAO even. Ugh. I need to talk to Pearl. It's very- it's very silly. It's a very silly game. Girl, just a just a girl boss uh using menstruation is a is a tactic to hide her her grisly murders. Hey Pearl, question for you. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything I can do to be of service to this girl. You said her name was Courtney, right? Yep. And was she <clears throat> and was she dating anyone? Ugh, not yet or I guess never now. But she and Brandon were goo goo for each other. Vomit inducing, if you ask me. Freaking metrosexuals. I'm stupidly excited to see his face when he finds out, though. Heh. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm fairly certain I saw him just now. Oh my god, really? Uh, he's got really bad roots. Some of the most pathetic eyes I've ever seen in my life. Big pink jacket. Ugh, oh, yeah, that tacky thing. As always. The people who think it's cringe are also usually the people who think Grizz is a man. Oh, did people did people say it was cringe? They should not have they should not have said that was cringe. I actually haven't seen anything but like praise for this game, honestly, so But that's also because only people in my circle talked about it, and that's based. Oh, people who think Grizz is a man all the way through. I don't know- I don't know how you can think that when people literally call her madam. Like, they refer to her as a woman. People- people will see a tall person with- with- with broad shoulders and a big frame and be like, is that a man? More concerningly, he saw blood leaking out from under the door. I bet people with pronouns made this game no fucking way. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I played it off, but once he realizes she's actually min missing. Hey, don't sweat it. He's far too numbskulled to remember. Anyway, we've bonded now gotten to know each other. I've helped you hide a body and all, and now you owe me, so... Oh, okay. I see, I see. So, like... So, so... Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because when you get, like, that big and that popular, it gets really hard to curate your chat such that, like... You can't insta ban any anyone who instantly is like oh, pronouns. Oh. But damn, I didn't I didn't know you actually got like more um people with way bigger followings to play it. That's really good. You know, when I I was I was actually like pleasantly surprised when I went to enter uh bury the hatchet into the uh Twitch game field and was like, "Oh, they it's ha it has its own field now." Wow. I've helped you hide a body and all, and now you owe me, so... Oh, you. You begged me to let you help me. You've gotta come to one of our shows, okay? What? Please, you owe me! I gotta go deal with... Please, 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 please! Ah... <sighs> Oh, uh, a branching path, perhaps. No, oh, I can't tab out to save. That's okay. Didn't expect it to be so VN-heavy. Ah. Yeah. 
I know uh, VNs aren't necessarily everyone's big thing. Um, well, I feel like I feel like bigger streamers have like a thing about playing VNs, unless they're really memeable ones like Hotful Boyfriend. Um, but but also like you know it's it's not even the anti VN sentiment. It's just the oh no, people don't want to watch me read on stream, which is like. I don't know. I think it's fun to watch people read VNs on stream sometimes, but, um, that's a personal preference sort of thing, I guess. Huh? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, okay, we're good. My mom, mom just had to check that I fed the dogs while she was gone. Everybody has been fed, including me. I had some I had some beef and barley soup. It was delightful. All right. Um We need to focus on hiding the body. Look, we can talk about it after we clean up this mess. Whatever I owe you then, I owe you. But there's bigger problems to be had right now. She's not just visibly pouting. She's visibly deflating. She's 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 like she's like sagging. Her whole her whole ponytail is sagging. Okay. Glad we're on the same page. Hand me that saw then, would you? Ha! <laughs> saw like the like the oh shit, oops. Hold on one second. My my, my uh, mic settings reset themselves for some reason. Is that better, I hope? Hand me that saw then, would you? There's a new Saw movie out there, isn't there? I've never seen any of those movies, though. I'm, uh, I'm squeamish. I don't think I'd handle it. We saw up the body in silence, which I think is uncharacteristic of Pearl, but maybe I just don't know her well enough. There, that's all her limbs hacked off. Man, man, oh man, oh man! Getting to see the Bearwater Grizzly Killer work in person is such a dream! Wait till XX Grunge Fan 54 xx finds out- I, I mean, not that I would tell, of course, of course! Having a special little secret between the two of us is far more special. What's far more special is not getting caught. Listen, I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. That's going to last all the way into the evening. Afterwards, we're going to use your- Wait, wait! I get to be a part of your plan?! Yes. I mean, you're already a part of it, aren't you? <gasps> the- 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 uh, the autistic creature yippee meme! Well, we're using your case to transport the body. It's Halloween, so props like that can pass without suspicion. Nice that you made it work with your costume. Huh? Costume? This is how I always dress! And my case already has my baby in it, okay? Your baby? My guitar! Well, can't you just... Damn it. Hey, hey, it's okay! I'll work on finding some new way to transport the body while you serve customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl! I... Ugh, whatever. I'll be back. Please do! Freak. Freak affectionate. I can take a second to catch my breath if I need to. Customers shouldn't bother me until I start messing around with the counter at the very least. Oh, okay. So I can actually, like, go look around and, ma and take stock of what all is here. Oh, and save, of course. There we go. Wow. The bear. Okay, so tabloids are here. They've got... Oh shit! A serial killer! Oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Missing person newspaper. 
I didn't actually mean to pick that up, but um, I guess I guess I have that now. Okay. Pumpkin chips. Huh. You know, I've I've never seen pumpkin chips, but that's one of those things. Like now, I'm looking looking at it, and I'm like, huh. You would you would think that someone would have like come up with some kind of pumpkin flavored seasonal bullfuckery. Oops. Can I can I look here? No. Okay. I know there's the behind the counter area for like cigs and stuff. Uh. Okay. Milk, water, and energy drink. So are there like. Okay, there's only one section to it. That's good. That makes it less confusing to try and navigate around the fridge. And then there's coffee. Alright, very cool. Oops. I think I know where everything is now. Eep! A monster! Kitty, protect me! Um. Kitty, do something! I'm not a monster. This is a mask. I guess she should be scared, though. Oh, okay. In that case... Wow, you calmed down so quick. Your voice sounds friendly. Hehe. <laughs> Can you get some milk for me and my kitty? It's the last ingredient we need for our special Halloween potion. It's going to turn my kitty into a great warrior. He didn't seem to do much to protect you just now. I know! He's helpless! I'm sure the milk will help. I don't know where it is. Go get it. Help me, please. Sure thing. All right, well, it's a good thing that I just saw the milk. Yes. Milk. Oops. That'll be 158. Wow. 158 for half a gallon of milk is cheap. Or maybe it's just that groceries are too fucking expensive these days. Wait, no, this is night the ni like in the 1990s, isn't it? That explains it. That fucking explains it. Oh, the things we had back in the 90s. Yay, thank you. I'll go make my potion now. Okay, you do that. Can I use your bathroom, please? Thank you. R repeat that, could you? I need to pee! I urgently need to pee! Please let me pee! Let me get that key for you. Oh my god, okay, thank you! Hurry! Don't get too excited. Don't want to mess in this place. Have I seen this guy's face before? Yep, there's the restroom keys. I figured they'd be back here. Hey, before you go, are you- Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, happy Halloween, thank you! Oh, there he goes. And he's gone. Oh god, there's more of them. Ew, a cop! Ugh! There's no way she called the cops, right? Hello, officer. What can I get you? Shit. He's awfully quiet. Happy Halloween! yippee yay yay I love Halloween! I'm really getting into the spirit this year. I'm dressing up as something really spooky. A cop! <laughs> so true! Wait, you're right. The only thing scarier than a true crime fan is a cop. Boo! Anything you need? This could all be a play. I really want to get into this costume. Want to get me a serial killer related tabloid pronto? I'll point it at people and discuss their irredeemability. Won't that really sell my costume? I'll get that tabloid for you. Good thing we have a, uh, a shelf very clearly labeled tabloids here. Let's just not worry about the fact that it's my face on this tabloid. The 
Grizzly killer, huh? I'll put him in jail. Happy Halloween! <laughs> okay. I... I would like to return this. These opened boxes of chocolates? No, I don't think we can do that, sir. <laughs> but I couldn't even give them to my girl. She wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one had seen her. <laughs> Ma'am, my girl is so mad at me. She doesn't want to be around me at all. How can I repair her broken heart? I'm so miserable. Yes. Yes, the girl that the girl that that Grizz killed is his girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry to hear all of that, sir. Not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going through. She's my whole Hey, Grizz! I blinged out this old box you had back there to- Oh, Brandum. Pearl, stupid. Uh, stupid Pearl. See, your band's really, truly selling well if this is where you've ended up. You got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. Hmph, at least I have a club. Seems like even lame these ditched you in your rat's nest of a haircut. Hey! Whatever's going on between Courtney and I is none of your business, lame stain. Shouldn't you be more worried about getting all that gross, uh, whatever that is on your boots off? Uh-huh. Hey, Brandom. Do you want to know what's on me? Because I pinky promise that you'll hate the answer. Let's phrase it as getting rather- And it's my lunch break, so you can go now. What? Good day, sir. Uh, jeez, uh, okay, I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> did you see the look on his face? Pathetic. Anyway, I like bedazzled- What the hell is wrong with you? Um, what? Telling him that we killed his girlfriend right in front of his face? Well, well technically- The body is right there, just a few steps away. It's the middle of the day. He makes a fuss of things. It's over. We're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but you need to stop it, get yourself together, and actually do what I say. Oh. Okay. Because that's what you want too, right? Just for me to shut up and obey you? To do what you want? Ugh. Freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. Well, um... I mean, like, this is really- this is really funny because, like... Like, like... Our- our- our gal Pearl here is, like, objectively in the wrong here. But also, this is about, like, a body, so also, there's no really- there's- there's really no moral high ground to be had anywhere. Alright. Let's go- let's go try not to get her to- to be crying and squealing and stuff. I don't want her to freak out and cause more problems. Taking the time to at least try having a conversation with her is probably best. Ugh. Oh, hi! Um, look! Like I said, the box? Completely blinged out and bedazzled. Yeah, uh, guess that you've disguised it pretty well. Right? <laughs> Awkward. Um... Hey, sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. It's just, you do understand why telling people you're hiding Courtney's, Courtney's body right now is bad, right? Psh, duh. Hey, Chris. Question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you actually think we can hide Courtney's body? B 
Because, like, maybe I'm wrong and you've actually successfully hidden a body in the past. But given how every body of yours they find seems to be a shoddier and shoddier attempt at hiding it, I don't think that's the case, right? All of this extra work that you're putting into dismembering her and stuff feels kind of desperate almost. I think the truth is, you're pretty bad at hiding bodies. You can hide that it was you, I'm pretty sure. You're pretty good at managing to detach yourself from the problem at hand. But the problem at hand stays. And so you're still here too. That's why your hatchet is nowhere to be found, right? No one is going to find Courtney's body. So don't worry about it. Okay! Yay! You know what you're doing far more than I do, so I'll trust you. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why I've got these. You just have bear traps. Okay. Bear traps. Yep. From your case? No, I'm just keeping them here for a second for convenience. I found them lying around in the back. Are, <clears throat> are they not yours? No, the manager is just really into hunting. Hmm, I see. Anyhow, I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. We gotta help them make use of their life's purpose. As long as you're confident you can tidy up all of them after the fact. Having all these traps set up for seemingly no reason is not going to do us favors after the fact. Okie dokie. Anyway, so, like, there's this thing that's been really stressing me out, so can I vent to you about it? And right back at it like nothing happened. Good for her. Sure, tell me about, about it while I set up the bear traps. Sure thing, boss! So, like, there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forgot if I mentioned that already. LOL. I really like that she said LOL out loud with her mouth. Uh-huh. But the problem is, Amy is, like, honestly really mediocre at drums. That, and she doesn't show up half the time. Uh-huh. Pass me another trap. Yep, yep. And I heard from someone somewhere that when you're working in a creative field, you need to be two of three things, okay? Pleasant to work with, always on time, and be absolutely amazing at what you do. And, like, love her to death, but the only thing Amy's good at is making freaking amazing Strawberry Romanoff. Like, seriously, I kill for it. Uh-huh. Pass me another one? Yep, yep. Oh, you BRB'd for a second? Well, I'm glad I'm glad to see you back, Mocha. Hope you enjoyed your dindin. But, basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her, but I don't have anyone else to ask to do it instead. And we can't be without a drummer that's, like, lame. So I was thinking, after all this, since you have the arms for it, what if you wanted to do it? Uh-huh. Pass me a nut. <gasps> oh my god, really? I figured that I need to convince you, but this is so awesome! He It's, like, gonna be so cool- Nope. Sorry, I misspoke. Huh? Thought you said something else. You know I can't be doing that. But you already said yes! And now I- <clears throat> And now I'm saying no. What the heck? I should have said no take backsies first. Ugh. This girl. Hello? Can I, like, buy this or something? Even though you totally just broke my heart, no worries. You go on and help them. I'll go set up more traps in the meantime. Right. All right, thank you, thank you for reminding, teaches them the virtue of patience, based. Thank you for reminding me that I can just walk around right in front of them. All right, um, let me also save again. All right. Who's out there? Hello? Oops. cash register. If even a cent is out of place, I get it. Oh yeah, baby. I know how retail is. 
I thought there were going to be customers out here. Oh. Just standing all the way over here. What? What is it? Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing. Got me into this whole prairie girl lifestyle. She even bakes bread for me and stuff. She's the perfect chick. She got you into the cowboy outfit for Halloween, I bet. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I'm an investment banker, but she wants me to be a bit more rough. And now my goddamn tires broke down. Help a guy out and fetch some tire repair thingy for me, okay? I'll give you a bonus and everything. Damn, oh, well, a bonus. Okay, then. Alright, a uh, tire kit. It's so good that I have such a good memory and remember where everything is. Except when I don't have a good memory. Here you go. 921, please. Keep, keep the change. Man, maybe I'll drive real far away, way deep, in, deep into the country with this thing and my lady. Who am I kidding? I love money too much. Well, my girl's waiting. See ya. Unfortunately, I also love money. Although being an investment banker is a shitty way to get it. Hello, benevolent service worker. How can I help you? Absolutely brilliant to see the masses participating in All Hallows' Eve. Sure. How can I help you? Masked Maiden, may you assist me with something deeply private? The truth is... I... I... Can you get me a tabloid discussing the latest news on society's elite? On those that influence and define our cultural norms? A celeb tabloid. You want a pop star tabloid? We have plenty. Yes, I know that they are indicative of low culture, but the gorgeous bodies on display and most riveting melodies captivate me. This guy's your personal favorite customer. They do seem very silly. I am the masses. We're not so different, you and I. Oh. It was him who said that. I'm not so sure. Let me get that tabloid for you. <laughs> We are we are a little bit more different than you would imagine, as it so happens. Alright, tabloid. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the funniest way you could have possibly chosen to refer to this guy. The, the, the piss guy. <laughs> hey, isn't that the piss guy from earlier today? Here you go. Enjoy your degenerate tabloid. Ack! Your words are a poison to quill upon the parchment of my flesh! 984, please. And my wallet, too! Goodbye! Did piss guy ever come out of the bathroom? God, I sure hope he did. We don't need him lingering. Uh, hello. Hey. What can I get you? Woohoo! You didn't say happy Halloween! We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. Your costumes seem to suggest otherwise. Well, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago. But we ate way too much candy and we threw up. Can you believe that? All three of us threw up. What if it was that, guys? So now we hate Halloween! Oh my god! No, don't tell me they ate the weed guy's edibles. But we need your help to stop it! Give us water now! How will that end a centuries-long tradition, exactly? We're replacing hollow, whatever that is, with something even more crucial to the human essence. That's right. Water ween! <laughs> Water ween. Okay. Humans need water. So we're starting water ween. Water now. Well, okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. I will I will get myself some water ween after um I have given these kids their water. Happy water ween. <laughs> I 
Indeed. Let me take a little sip. Happy water ween, everybody. Ah. Water ween will reign supreme! We need water to live! Water ween! 113, please. Pennies for the beginning of a revolution! Water ween! Okay. I mean, water is good for you, and you should drink more of it. Oh, well, hello, handsome. Ugh, I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What, buying crap at a gas station? And you can't even be cordial about it. Give me info on missing people, okay? Did you make it disappear? <laughs> because... You're a magician. I want to try and enjoy Halloween despite all the stuff going on in my life, okay? Please go fetch that tabloid for me, alright? I deserve to live a normal life. Well, damn. I wonder I wonder what this what this person's gig is. Come on. A depressing, sad one at the end of everything. I, f I fucking guess so. Oops. Same as always. No info to find. Well, why are you looking in a fucking gas station newspaper or tabloid for it? A rabbit to my magician. I'll pull you out of my hat soon enough. It's raining, huh? Bummer for any trick-or-treaters, I guess. <clears throat> guess it's not- uh! What's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking dropped Courtney! Uh! I mean, it seems like she's still in- s But so many of the jewels fell everywhere! And the little bedazzlements I painstakingly put on, they fell off! I'm so- Alright, it's stupid what will help her. Don't patronize me! I'm not- You are! A little bit irrational about it. Clearly. I mean, I think Pearl's just a little bit irrational in general. This is so- Ugh! Of course people only look at me when I mess up. You can't stand out in marching band? Just blare the wrong note, duh. Hey. And that aside, I mean, Wacky doesn't even begin to cover it, right? It's pretty weird for someone to want to help a serial killer, right? Pretty much, pretty out of the ordinary to not be phased at all by a serial killer chopping up a classmate's body, bad blood or not, right? It's so... I'm so... Ugh! You know, sometimes, sometimes when you're upset, you gotta be so upset that you get tired about it. I thought... <laughs> I really thought for a while that if I actually tried to follow what other people said, I'd get the right kinds of eyes on me. It's really hard to think for yourself, after all. When you make your own decisions, if things go badly, the fault lies with you. So why didn't things turn out well? Why was everyone still getting mad at me? Wasn't I doing what they asked? Why couldn't they just look at... Not that it matters anyhow anymore. Hey, I have another question for you. Sure, shoot. Where's your hatchet? You always killed with a hatchet. Even when your other little trademarks came and went, there was always, always a hatchet. I thought it was kind of odd that you hadn't been using it up until now, but I figured... Uh, Courtney took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just as convenient. It's quicker to saw through bones with an actual saw, and we're on a time crunch. But I feel like it's a little too absent. I don't know. You don't have to answer me. Hell, I'm just some fangirl that you met earlier this morning. But if I'm right on your reasoning as to why you're not using the hatchet... Hey, for real now. We're never going to actually succeed in hiding this body, are we? I don't think you ever thought you were going to, even on your own. 
Before this, all your killings were far, far from the city. That's probably how you managed to get away with it all, right? Perfectly controlled. So, a situation like this probably isn't ideal. You probably thought you could hide in the city, huh? So many people, and no one's looking for a country bumpkin killer in concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all, huh? Hey, uh, Pearl. I used the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with, that's all. There was nothing special about it. It's just a tool. But, well, like you kind of said, it became a signature. It became recognizable. Isn't that part of the point to a lot of serial killers, though? To have one so people know who you are? You're a symbol for all freaks. There's, like, drama on forums about you guys getting way too much attention, really. No, I hate that shit. I'd prefer it if no one had found any of the bodies. Ah. Look. All due respect, but I never wanted to involve anyone else. Especially not someone like you. Huh? Someone like me? The hell's that supposed to mean? Someone so desperate to be found. Heh. I guess it is a little ironic then. Ugh, we were in the middle of something- Hey, don't shout. Just give me a sec. Okie dokie! Welcome and whatever, how can I- Oh, you again. You know, I just noticed that the number on the back of his jacket is 13. Nice little, um... Ni nice little... Pointing to the fact that he's absurdly unlucky. Let me get another sippy. I'm I'm chewing I'm chewing on that uh scene that wasn't in the um the the script that I looked at because it wasn't finished yet. So I'm I'm very like ooh weighty conversations ooh. This too is Yuri. Hey fuck, you know what I just realized? Between this and Signalis, this is just gonna be Yuri week. This isn't spooky week, it's Yuri week. This is a this is a win for the lesbians out there. Thank you, Mocha, for helping to facilitate this. Anyway. Um <laughs> hi again. S sorry to bother you, I just I wanted to talk to Pearl if that was possible. She's not here. Oh, is that the case? Uh <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of stressed, you know? I called Courtney's parents because we're chill and all, but uh, they said that she left home early to get some last-minute costume supplies or something and just never came back. They uh, assumed she decided to go straight to school after buying stuff, but, uh, she didn't. No one's seen her at all, all day, no matter how much I ask. The only person so much as joked about seeing her is Pearl. So, even though it's probably a stretch, I gotta ask, you know? If you know where she went or whatever, that'd be great. Just being pointed in the right direction, please? Yeah, beats me. Uh, really? All Yuri's Eve, that's right. Yeah, I don't know, sorry. Uh, okay, thanks anyway. I'll try stopping- Coming in that walkie-talkie I asked for earlier, it's me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help back here again, please? Ugh. You freaking liar, huh? Hey, wait a sec. Let me through! Let's all just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to Pearl, it's no big deal, okay? Shit. I need to find something to deal with him now. Alright. I really like that fun music is still playing here. Oh, can I not get that? Can I not get this? Uh, no. Damn. I gotta get something else. Okay. C Courtney? Um, I'm gonna call the cops! Oh. 
I really like I really like that game over CG. That's really funny. Uh, can I not? Uh, oh, okay. Um. Damn, is it really on the fucking SIG thing? It's fine. This is plastic. Oh. That actually makes a lot of sense for a convenience store. I just saw an axe and was like, yes! Probably not it. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, probably not it. Whatever. Can I get a can of beer to throw at his head? Oh, I can hold shift to run. Okay. There's gotta be something. Oh, it's an actual weapon? Well, shit. Where would I find one of those in here? Something I've seen before. Something I've seen before. An actual weapon. Hold on. Okay, let's think. Think, 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 think. Of course my memory fails me now. Oh. Wait, when did I save there? Oh, well now I gotta go back to my last save. Can't believe I locked myself into a corner like that. Okay, let me take a minute to look around while I'm here. Okay, there's lighter fluid. I mean, I doubt I would be able to interact with any of the shelves um, if they don't have relevant stuff. It's fine. That's actually the first time that I've had trouble in this game. Okay, would it be here behind the... Oh! A knife! No fucking shit. Alright, let's help the customer out. All right, we'll zoom. We'll zoom through these, because I, I remember what everyone wants. Run, 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 running in the nineties. He stopped talking. Okay, I was I was button mashing too much. Ah yes, the piss guy. Water ween. Oops. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, enjoy your water ween. Taking a little sippy just to celebrate.
You know, it's kind of it's kind of cute that Grizz was trying to make a joke there and just kind of completely fucked it. Completely fucked it up. All right, it's raining. Yay, I'm almost there. Oh. I think I might have picked the wrong option. Oops. So are you just gonna stand there? I'm sure my messing up is super entertaining. Ugh, okay, whatever. I hope that didn't mess anything up significantly. You don't know if I want to have done that? Damn it. There's no there's no easy option to reload my save here. Oh, I can get other endings with it. It locked me out of the true ending. Okay, I'll just make it a separate save then. Cuz I am interested in seeing multiple endings. I I was I was just like, yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. All right. Anyway, What whoa? Uh oh, sisters. Oops. Okay, um, so let's make this. We'll save over this one, since that one was fucked up anyway. And then. Yay, a knife! Pearl, are you... I see. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is... This is such a CG. <laughs> she put jewels on the freaking body too, bro. Oh my god. Also, also, hi, Emerald. Welcome. Happy Monday. <laughs> I thought she was just bedazzling the box, but no, she bedazzled the freaking corpse, too. That's funny. Um, hi? C courtney Sh she's Aha, uh -huh, yeah, deader than a doornail. I'm super sorry or something that this is how you found out, but, like, hey, plenty of fish in the sea, right? I honestly wouldn't dwell on it too much. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm seriously for real going to kill you. I knew you were a seek freak, but this- Hey! You- you just tried to kill me, didn't you? Tch, freaking jock types. You can't just make this easy, can you? You bitch! You- you think you are gonna stop me from getting out of here and getting the fucking cops? Huh? I'm the first pick quarterback, I'll have you know. You and what you did to C Courtney. Fuck! Oh, shut up. Tch. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. We can't let him get out. That's like soup's bad. Can you at least talk seriously for once, Pearl? I know that, Pearl. Tch, these kids. Okay, um. Yeah, we'll save this one here. <laughs> Shit! Yay, you stabbed him! Not well enough. Seriously, you jock types. You freaking chocolate pieces of shit! Oh, I guess so. He's slinking off now. 
Don't worry, he's not getting far at this point. Come on. <laughs> the, the door. No, 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 no. D damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This can't, this needs to open, it needs to. Listen, kid. F fuck off! It's really nothing personal. In fact, I prefer not to do this. But you and I both know you wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. So this is how it's going to have to be. <laughs> yeah, Grizz is gonna kill you dead. Pearl. Sorry, sipping mouth. You two. You gotta be bugging. How can you... How can you act so... So... So pretentious! You fucking killed my girl and for what? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the redeems, Lane Pop, and welcome. Happy Monday. Hope you are doing well on this, um, not so spooky of spooky days. Probably going to be the least scary of the games that I play this week. Teehee. Well, I don't know what I'm doing on Wednesday, so hold the phone on that. Oh, all that people like you guys are good for, good at is ruining lives. What the hell did she, d did I do wrong? Like, for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? Did she say something to tick you off? Seriously, why'd she have to die? Huh? What you looking at? This thing? A hatchet? That's... Huh. <laughs> you don't like me grabbing hold of this, huh? <laughs> you two. You're weak enough, right? And I'm strong enough. If it's to avenge Courtney, I can... God, you won't shut up, will you? I'll just need to help you with that, I guess. Wait, Pearl! Take this! No! Oh, I've gotta... I've gotta say, that was exceptionally stupid of you. Stupid Pearl. Let go of me! <laughs> you seriously bit me? Gross ass. But I... Freaking got you, you freak! You absolute brickhead! Well, Grizz, was it? I'll do it. I'll kill her. I'll do it. You know I will. I'd have done it before this, but now this freak show's gone in. Now that Courtney's my girl. Get over her. She's been dead for hours now, you loser. Shut up. <coughs> you. You freaking monster. You are going to let me out of here. Alive. You are going to open the door and let me leave out of the back. Or she gets it. Or, ha, wait. <laughs> Rude of me to assume that you actually care about her, right? She's a freak, after all, even by your standards. R regardless, if you care at all about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... Whatever. What's it gonna be? Oh, tough choice. The very, the very important, um, decision of the night. Uh, I'm the kind of person who likes to get the bad ending first, so... Also, thank you! I do my very bestest. I can't let you leave here, no matter what. So, no keys? So, no head? You're fine with stupid Pearl dying, then? Whatever. Do it. Ha! <laughs> you think I won't? <laughs> I will. I really, really will! Is that so? Then do it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> See? I did it! I actually... Huh? Damn it. One was hard enough, but three of them? I guess things always need to work out this way. Better get started, then. The 
first time was on accident. The second and third were, too. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, not so much. At some point, I had begun to wonder if my capacity for it all was endless. I held no ill will against these people. I did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I didn't even kill them for any sort of reward. People kept dying by my hatchet because it was convenient. They'd practically fall into it. In the end, it wasn't even any sort of morality that caused me to stop. Killing, if you're realistic about it, just doesn't pay well. Ah, miss, please do come in. We're very excited to interview you. Your application was very strong. Honestly, somewhat unrealistically so. <laughs> but we need all the help we can get around this season, and you seem wonderful. That being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule this for later. Why do I ask? You're wearing that medical mask, after all. Ah, oh, well, it isn't any of my business. They only end up asking around here a week into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon f mentioned returning the chocolates he got. They mentioned Courtney in passing during the questions. The only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster her bandmates put up. Damn. That feels kind of bad. <laughs> anyway, let's try that one again, shall we? I think this one started on the chase scene. Ooh, I'm gonna get ya! I'm the scary killer, and I'm gonna get ya! 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 I got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright, so this is the part where we do the better ending, but not it's not the true ending, so that's fine. Alright. Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, I usually start at like 4pm for you. Oh yeah, that's right, huh? You are, you are, you are in a behind-me time zone. Um, yeah, hi, Sparrow. Nice to see you here. I hope you are having an enjoyable Monday. We, we just, we, we just, uh, witnessed a double murder in the bad ending. But that's okay, it's not gonna happen this time. There will only be, um, there will only be another, uh, one, one more murder tonight. By me, of course. All right. So there's this. He gets the he gets the hatchet. Sparrow is a cute name, isn't it? I mean, you know, cuz sparrows are cute birds. Pearl thinks she's going to be the next big serial killer. I will say, I think that um uh Angela, um, that's, that's Curvia, um, Curvia is her Tumblr. She's the artist for this, and I think that she did a really good job, um, conveying the expressiveness, um, of Grizz, despite the fact that Grizz is always wearing a mask. Um, like, Grizz is always wearing the mask, but she's still, like, really, really expressive. I think that's very, very good. Warrior cat core name. Oh my god, how could you call them out like this? All right, we'll go give him the keys this time. Shake my damn head. <laughs> Mocha, I love you, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> I see another murder happened in the chat today. Sure, all right. D don't try to, huh? You're really just giving them to me? You're not letting go of the girl otherwise, right? D don't. No, I'm not. There you have it, then. By your feet. Gah! I can breathe again! Ah! Holy shit! 
I'll seriously get to live. And, and when the cops hear about this, that they're going to get your asses. Tch. Oh, man. Here we... You know, I thought it would be common sense not to turn your back on a serial killer. Guess not. <laughs> Dying noises. You little... Stop, please, I... There we go. Oh my god, you did it! You did it! You... Be careful! Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey! Fuck, that hurts. Holy shit! Oh no, she got caught in the bear trap. Thank you. Um, I, 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 I die on the regular, so it all works out. I'm- uh, okay, I'm gonna get you out, okay? I can't- <sighs> No, it's fine. Wasn't looking where I was stepping, huh? Guess I should have paid more attention to you, huh? I think that's- I think that's clever, slipping in the- slipping in that should have paid more attention to you. As like a as like a way of lampshading um, the 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 route where you're more successful. Okay, phew. All right, you listen. Sh should I saw your foot off? I can do it if I just close my eye. Shut up and listen. Listen to me, all right? No one knew you were here, right? You didn't tell anyone. No, but. And I don't think anyone saw you during my shift. Okay. Ah, oh, phew. Take the keys, open the back door, and then toss them under once you go. I can close it up after you and... And leave you to die? I'm not going to die. I'm just stuck. But nothing. You can hide yourself easy. No one's going to try and find what they're not looking for. I've been doing this solo for years now. It'd be weird to start now. But what about when they find you? I'll have to deal with being found, I guess. Now go. Go now! Back then, on that day, I couldn't make myself open up my umbrella. It just kept coming down and down and down. I let the rain wash everything away. In that sense, I was probably being selfish. There wasn't anyone there to see me. But regardless, I couldn't use that umbrella to hide from the night sky. I needed it all gone. I needed the blood not just hidden, but destroyed. Something something, it's better to be hated than forgotten. I don't really agree with that, but it doesn't look like I have a choice in that anymore. Ah, bad luck. Damn. L. All right, time to redo this from here where I can get the true ending. I'll just have to go through all the customer bullshit again. 1990X, my favorite year. Yeah. It's just it's just ambiguously it's just ambiguously um ambiguously 90s. We don't need to know the exact year. Did I listen to Pearl's explanation about her band? Yes. I believe so. That's the one where she bitches about her drummer sucking, right? All right, one down. Oh, is it the one where is it the one where she asks you um to join? I think I did. That's also the second one. Fuck.
Oh, did I let her help? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we prioritized hiding the body. That was the choice that I picked. Oh. That was the wrong one. Okay. Well, I have a save from before that, too. Actually, I'm curious. Will, um... Will, will this one, um... Will, will continuing with this one get a different, um... Ending than the one before? Or do I need to go, like, all the way back? Okay. We'll just... Here. Fix that. Teehee. Oh, no, it's fine. I mean, I was acting intuitively, so, um... It wasn't like I had any way to determine which one would get the true ending or whatever. Whoa, Spooktober Visual Novel Jam! Hold on, I need to, uh, I need to readjust it so it actually fits inside my little frame here. Can't have it looking janky. Uh, not to be, like, anal about it or anything. I just like to have everything look neat and tidy. Alright, so let's continue from... I think this is before the first choice. I think. If I get to the second choice, then I guess I have to restart the whole game. So, like, oops. Alright, the milk. I remember where that is. It can only be in with the drinks. Alright, there's one down. Ah yes, the keys. It's the piss boy. There he goes. To piss. Ah, yes, the cop. I mean, the fake cop. It's true. The scariest thing imaginable is a cop. Okay, yeah, you go do that. Oh, this guy again. Sorry to hear that, sir. Didn't didn't read all that. Congrats or sorry that happened. Ah, yes, and it's my lunch break. Gay serial killers. Literally, it's like... Hello? Alright, let's go after her. Let's have a little heart-to-heart. -heart. She bedazzled the box and the body! Yes, please don't- please do not share openly with people 
that that we that we are hiding a body. This is really interesting because this also wasn't um. Yeah, this this wasn't introduced as part of Pearl's character when I when I first read the script, um. And I was like really like I'm I'm, I'm compelled here because it suggests that like. Like, Pearl is really immature and really impulsive and, at times, not very smart. But, like, she's really, really highly observant, specifically about the one thing she's interested in. And, like, she got a read on Grizz here. It was really, really interesting. Okay, yay! I mean, yeah, we we are we are all that way. Unfortunately, I don't respect true crime fans. <laughs> ah, yes, the bear traps. Typical autism behavior. Guys, is this a is this a diversity win? Di diversity win. The the true crime fan helping a serial killer hide a body is autistic. Oh, you just know she'd get into all kinds of arguments online about that. I say that, but like, I don't I don't think there was any discourse whatsoever about like the right or wrong ways to be autistic online in the nineties, right? Like, I don't think there was this awareness around it of like you can't. You can't be this, you can't be this way, or, like, you know, or, um, what hyperfixations are allowable and that sort of thing. I don't even think that hyperfixation was coined as a term yet. Okay, so I did all of that, but I think that actually, I think that actually I had made the, I had made the right, um, choice there? That was the first choice, right? Or was that the second one? Mocha, help me out there. Was that the right one? Do I have to go all the way back? I'm dancing. This is like the third time I've helped this cowboy dude. must have been the second one because if the last if the last big choice that I make is like right here okay yeah if I made the if I made the wrong first decision I mean that's kind of on me for not saving back then but I think I'm gonna have to um Let's, um, oops. Oh, cool. Let's have, let's actually, hold on. I want always dash on. And then we'll quit to menu. And I'll just start from the beginning. Because the beginning is not hard at all. I think it I think it works because this is such a short game. It's not going to take me anything to just uh whiz through the the first part. You know, the more I think about it though, it's it's very it's very funny imagining like a serial killer because they don't make any money having to like get a fucking service worker job. Like 
you know you the, the customers do not even know that they're that they're acting like shitheads to a guy with a body count and it's worse than the killing being it's more unpleasant working in working in customer service than being a serial killer i've never been a serial killer so i'm just i'm just approximating here Does he know? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never killed anybody. Not once. Alright. Grizz goes to clean up the mess. Rut row. The like absolute peak of irony is Pearl calling the other people on her true crime fan forum like parasocial as if whatever she's got going on is not like completely insane. Alright, well, we're not gonna get sold out, so... Oh, hi, hi, Hash Brown. Can I help you? Everybody say hi to Hash Brown. He's, uh, he walked in front of my camera. Okay, excuse me. Did you want to go get in your basket? Can you jump up there, little fat ass? Hi, Browner. Oh, that's cute. You can do it. You can get up there, buddy. Yeah, I have a I have a basket on top of my dresser and I keep it empty cuz he really likes to curl up in it. Yep, there he goes now. It's chilling. Little brownie boy. I like I also like the protracted pause here where Grizz is like, "Ugh, should I bother killing her?" Yeah, I guess it's too much of a hassle so I won't kill her. My friend spent a good 45 minutes of stream with her cat on camera because he interrupted her building a gun plot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cat behavior. I, I imagine that, that building figures and stuff um, when you have cats is probably like insanely difficult, like just for the sole reason that um... Okay, let me let me let me save here. I think because it didn't it didn't like tip me off like hey I can just save but without going to the counter I didn't I didn't make a save here. Maybe I intended to though. I like I like how many save files there are. Okay, I did it. I did it. We're good. But yeah, my my cats. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I I mean I have I have shelves and stuff for my books. Um, and then at different points, um, along the shelves, I've just kind of, I've, I've arranged it with, like, figures and stuff. Um. And, um. Because they're all, like, they're, I don't really have room for my, like, actual big figures. So, because they're all small, the cats see them and are like, oh boy, this is a, this is a toy for us. And so they like to knock my stuff off the shelves. It's really annoying. I can only imagine what it would be like with a bunch of, like, small little parts. Ah, yes, the walkie-talkie. Alright, weirdo. No, we do not have fucking weed, you piece of shit stoner. I have to keep my dog out of my room or she'll chew my plushies. Oh no. 
Yeah, our our dogs are also like they they like to chew on just about everything, so they're not allowed into my room either. Um, my cats aren't really interested in chewing plushies though, thankfully. All right, time to go make sure Pearl's not fucking anything up. Oh yeah, this guy. Again. I really like how he just comes in and like dumps on this like completely unrelated um well, this completely unrelated like salesperson who does not give a shit and is like, "Look at my girl. Look how cute she is. Oh, I'm going to kill myself cuz she's mad at me." Ah. Oh. Oh, hello, hello, Brandon. Wow, just like the character in this game who's called Brandon. I hope you're enjoying this fine and, uh, spooky Monday. I mean, it's not that spooky yet. A week from now, though, it'll be the day before Halloween, and then it'll be real spooky. It's that time of the month. Teehee! I'm, I don't, I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I am, I am gay. That's what we do here. Uh, like, every, everybody here is gay. Not in the game, but in real life. Alright, so this is the first big choice, I think. Um... This must be the one where I messed up, so I'll have to remember, actually, the one that I made last time. We've bonded now, she says with hearts in her eyes. Uh, okay. So, I put last time, we need to focus on hiding the body. Um, I guess I had to hear her out about it. I have to listen to her talk about her silly little band. Okay, you can tell me about your band while I work. Hand me that saw, would you? Oh, not your hatchet still? I mean, of course. Ah, yes, that is a lot... That is a lot of blood. Okay, so, 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 there are four of us. Amy, Daisy on keys, Violet on bass, and of course, me on guitar and lead vocals. <laughs> After all, if the band's called Death of Venus, it's destined that the person named Pearl lead it, right? Since that Venus chick came out of an oyster and all. Oh, did you guys inherit the band and its name from someone else? What? No, I named it and founded it. Huh. Anyway, we've got big plans coming up. Amy's brother works at- <laughs> I like that you censored the brand name here. He's trying to pull some strings so we can perform there sometime. We've been preparing for so long, so actually getting to perform in front of people? I'm so buzzed I can hardly stand it. Glad for you. Hey, can you pass me that rag? Huh? Uh, oh, of course. Uh, hey, while I have you here, uh, can I run a few lyrics by you? I'm not exactly a lyricist. Eh, the words themselves aren't the point. It's all about the emotions. Donkin. Some Donkin Doni. Some Donkin Donots. Oh yeah, wait, I remember reading this in the script. I should have I should have remembered that I that I didn't encounter this in the actual game. Let me know if this speaks to you at all. Ahem! Walk the line, keep in step, do it all, no missteps. Still you look and you frown, no matter what, in your mind I'm always down. So? Oh, is that all? <laughs> For now, it's obviously a work in progress. But, but, um, what do you think? Hmm. Pass me the book at first. 
Uh, okay. Well, you rhyme step with misstep. Yeah, because they rhyme. No, I'm kind of with Grizz on that one. That's tacky. Besides, what about the emotions? My emotions. Or, or I mean, could be anyone's emotions. Listen, Pearl, there's no point in being so anxious over my opinion. If you're writing lyrics about feeling judged, why do you want others to judge them? So the feeling that I hate being judged gets across. Yes! I <sighs> guess it's pretty standard young person angst then. <laughs> I'm so glad I could talk to you about it. There, that's all her limbs hacked off. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Getting to see the Bearwater Grizzly Killer work in person is such a dream. Oh yeah, this is the part where she's like, hee hee hee, hee hee. I'm gonna tell everybody about it. I mean, no, I'm not. Tee hee. All right, and then she's gonna bedazzle the box. Yes. The box to hide the body in. And the body itself, she's gonna bedazzle that too. All right, time to go do customer service again. And let's make sure we do it correctly here. This one will save here. And then, hello. And then there's the girl with the kitty. She brought the kitty into the store. Honestly, Hash Brown is the kind of cat where um, if a lot of stores did not have um, stipulations about not having pets inside except for service animals, I would, I would put his harness on and just take him around. Take him to Walmart and put him in the, in the baby seat. I think people would love that. I found, I found that when I have taken him um, anywhere, like to parks or um, anything like that with people. Um, oh, wait. I can't believe I did that. I was acting on instinct. Hold on. When you worked at a liquor store, some guy brought his kitten in. Oh, that must have made your day. That would make my day. But yeah, people always got very amused to see a cat on a leash. Because they were like, oh, I didn't think you could do that. Yeah, you can. Cats can be leash trained. Hash Brown doesn't like his harness, but he tolerates it because he knows that's the only way he gets to go outside. Unless he's going in the in our fenced-in backyard. He's, he's trained. If I open the back door, he'll go out and he'll go right into the fenced-in area. Ah, yes, the serial killer tabloid. She was so cute and he left her at the counter so you could pet her while you shopped. Oh! Oh, wait. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That's adorable. Gotta love that. Honestly, if people's animals weren't disruptive, I would just let them bring them inside. Oh, and here's him again. And then Pearl gets confrontational. Anyways. I think, I, like, I think maybe, I think maybe perhaps you should just make it so we don't get arrested. Oops. We gotta go after her. We gotta go talk to her so she doesn't cause problems. Her sprites are really cute, though. She has a, she has a very nice design in general, but I think, I think her being high en energy really uh 
comes out well in both her words and her um right or her her writing and her uh, her her look. Oh yes, and here's here. Here is the very astute observation she makes. Don't worry about it. 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 Me when I accidentally become a serial killer and uh, end up getting more and more desperate because I can't hide a body to save my life. Honestly, that's kind of a comical thing to imagine, Grizz being a drummer. Like, she does have the arms for it. Get a load of those biceps. And now we gotta go deal with customers again. For the last time. Teaches them the virtue of patience. Customers should learn the virtue of patience. Did you guys know? I have a, I have a fun fact for you all. Um, so many, many people here, okay, save again, there we go. I didn't mean to do that a third time, but you know, whatever. Many people probably have not heard of an American grocery chain called Piggly Wiggly. Um, it's a grocery store, and it was the first self-serve grocery store in America, I believe in the 30s. Um... And what that means is that uh, before then, what you did when you went to a grocer was you brought a list, you handed it to the guy at the counter, and then the guy at the... Yeah, it's literally called Piggly Wiggly. I'm not even joking. You can look it up. They still exist, apparently. I saw... We, we drove by one the other day, and I was like, damn, I've literally never heard of it. But I read up on it, and yeah, it used to be that you handed a grocer a list of items that you... um that you wanted to buy and so the grocer would go throughout the store and collect them for you and and check you out um and i the logic behind this was you know like we shouldn't just let people take whatever they want um but piggly wiggly um allowed people to serve themselves oh not wrong tabloid And um, that became the norm in American grocery stores, specifically because um, they realized that any losses that occurred from shoplifting were way outweighed by uh, people being able to make impulse purchases. Um, and there's actually like whole like sectors of marketing design um, that are dedicated to figuring out how to arrange stores to get people to buy shit that they don't need. Which is, like, you know, really, really evil. But isn't it fascinating? Isn't it fascinating how, how one business decision can, like, completely change the way a society works? Anyway, that's your fun fact for the day. Bad joke. Don't we all just deserve to live normal lives, free from the reins of capitalism? Now, granted, I don't know um, how or when that became the norm for other countries. I can only speak to uh, what I learned about American history on that day. Whoa! Hi, Pearl. She dropped Courtney. Oh no. Someone, someone's a little upset. All right, we're gonna help her out because we're so nice. Emotion, me when I'm emotionally distraught and a bit irrational about it. I really like how she goes on like this whole emotional dump and and Grizz is just standing there like Yo
Same shit as always. Well, it's not the first time a customer's done this to me. Ah, and here we talk once again about burying the hatchet. This was this conversation when I first ran past it was a bit of an oh moment because I was like, oh yeah. So like not only is it bury the hatchet because she's she's dressed like a bear and like, you know, nicknamed Grizz and stuff, but also because um she is she is literally burying the hatchet. She is literally trying to put her past behind her and run away from it. Whoa. I'm connecting the dots. I'm so smart. Imagine being told this. <laughs> like, I know as a serial killer, you really don't have the right to protest being called that, but imagine being called this. <laughs> Alright, it's time. The final showdown. Pearl? Never heard of her. I'd be so mad, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta fast get the knife. Fast, 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 fast. I'm so fast. And let's save real quick. Yay! Yeah, just like Sonic. I did grow up on Sonic games. I see. Yeah, sorry, bro. But you know what? You'll find someone else. What are you, homophobic? I like that it lets you save here, like, right before... Oh, I got him real fast. Damn, I just, like, took two steps! <laughs> stab. Stabity stab stab. Just like Sonic. Wait, Sonic hasn't stabbed anyone, though. To my knowledge. I mean, I don't know. I hear the Archie comics are pretty wild. Nothing personnel, kid. You know, I, what I what I've I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I think what I um 
find really interesting about this game is that it manages to like however subconsciously make you root for a serial killer and a true crime fan you're like damn i don't want them to be caught like i i i feel i feel bad i would feel bad if that happened even though you know serial killing is bad you go you go into this thinking oh boy a serial killer this is going to be so silly and funny and you get attached enough that you're like yeah i don't i don't really want them to face justice actually um but at the same time what what what's what's also fucked is that he asks a valid question like you know like why why did why did courtney have to die was there any actual reason for you to kill her like what what gave you the right to do that very interesting moral conundrums going on here ah yes and now the big final choice How do I know? Well, how do, how do I know what? What did I say? I forgot what I said it like uh, literally a minute ago. Oh, how do I know that Sonic hasn't stabbed anyone? Hmm. I guess I don't know. That's a thinker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna haunt my sleep, I tell ya. Oh, yeah, here we get some extra dialogue. I can, if, if, if you trust me, I can. You shut up now. Unless you, unless you want to join Courtney. Damn it. Whatever. What's it gonna be? Yay, I can get the true ending. Yippee! Alright, obviously we get a given the keys. I don't think not giving him the keys would change the outcome at all. Because, like, she just still gets killed, yeah? Whoa, seriously? No, no goofs or gaffs? You let Pearl go now. God, when was the last time you showered? Gross ass. The, the keys. They're really... Oh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> you two are so freaking dead. When I get out of here and call the cops on you, then you'll... Um, okay. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> don't ignore the damsel in distress. Oh my god? She pushed him into a bear trap? You! You you shoved him into the bear trap. Damn, good work. OMG, is that praise for me? It's my lucky day. Whoa! Hey, watch it with that lame stain. I'll freaking kill you! Eep, your hatchet! Damn, just taking him out won't be easy. Well, this'll hurt, but give me a sec with him and... No, wait a second! I've got a way better way of dealing with this! Come on! D don't ignore me! I'll kill you for what you did to Courtney! Do you hear me? Kill you! They'll all know what you did! What you did to... Oh, God. Well, L. Bit of an L there, mate. Uh, okay, this place sells gas, right? Uh, I mean, it is a gas station. And lighters! Gas and lighters, can you get those? Quickly! Why don't you... Hey, I can't even hold two items at once. Why not? Store pause. <laughs> <laughs> We're worried about store policy, 
girl, you got a body in the back room. That's a really funny way of justifying an in-game coding limitation. I think we can ignore that rule for now, okay? Uh, gasoline, okay. She doesn't want to get in trouble. Oh, oops, wrong, wrong thing. I don't know why I went to the fridge. Uh, lighters. That'd be here, SIGs. Got him. Perfect! Then it's just a matter of spreading this around, and then... Alrighty, I think we're set for Soren. Just need to be careful that we don't blow up alongside it. <laughs> well, don't light it in here, obviously. Do it once we go outside. Ah, you're right. F for sure. Well, let's, let's go then. Let's count down, okay? Th three. Two. Just throw it. Okay, okay. Damn, it actually exploded. You know, I always thought that a uh, gas fire was like, or when you when you lit gas on fire, it went up in flames slowly. I'm not going to think too hard about that, but that's like, it's really funny that it just boom, explode, bye. That's one way to hide a body. Wow. Brandon's probably super dead, isn't he? Probably. That upgrades you to serial killer assistant to killer, so I guess congrats are in order. Not serial killer, though? Well, it was only one guy, so no. Ha, <laughs> you've got a point. This, too, is Yuri. Shit! No, 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 no! What is it? My baby! My guitar! I never put it back into my case after putting all the traps in there! Oh, I could just throw up! This sucks! Uh, there, there. If it's any comfort, uh, I'm probably never getting my hands back on my hatchet. <laughs> OMG, you're right! <gasps> I guess I get to share a deeply traumatizing loss with my favorite person! <laughs> that almost makes it worth it. Yippee! God, you are so fucked in the head! <laughs> I'm still really bummed, actually. I figured. You know, all that stuff I said about not being able to hide a body. I didn't really account for completely destroying it as an option. Things just work out that way sometimes. Hmm. Hey, Grizz? We're gonna need to figure out a better name for you to call me than that. What you gonna do now? I'm freshly unemployed and, well, no longer hidden, right? Something like that. Well, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Worst in the world or not, it's inconvenient right now. Didn't you kind of want that, though? Hmm? I mean, going to the city is like hiding a tree in a forest, sure. But you're still going to be perceived a lot more by people than if you were toughing it out in the middle of nowhere. And maybe... Maybe too much attention isn't ideal, especially for someone like you. But being perceived by those closest to you, that's good, right? At least, uh, I want to believe that's good. Hmm. Is she suggesting that they run away together? Hey, Grizz? Yeah? Do you want to join my band for real? Aww. That was cute, actually. This, too, is Yuri. Con congratulations you have successfully hidden not one, but two bodies. Your relationship has been upgraded to gay. Hello, Donkin! Dankin? Donkin? We're just gonna call it Donkin. We are death! Of Venus! Oh my god, look at her stupid band shirt. Stop. Woo, yeah, woo. Woo. 
Oh, she's saying. <laughs> very, very, very pumped to be performing live here today. We will be giving you the show of a lifetime. Now, a drum roll for our very newest member on the drums, the bear! She's just the bear now, huh? Well, you know what? That was, that was, that was good. That felt good. It felt good that they got away with it. I'm a, I, I can't believe it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a serial killer apologist now. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, well, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna joke about being a true crime fan, but even I can't joke about that. But wow. That was, that was fun. That was so cute, Mocha. Good job. Everybody say good job to our very own Mocha Sips, um, for doing such a banger job on this game. And of course, um, everybody else who worked on it did a fantastic job as well. Let me pull up the, um, itch.io page, um, for it so that everybody can go check it out if they want to. Now, it needs to be said, this is a free game. It's Name Your Price. I, of course, recommend giving whatever you can to these lovely people. But either way, you can experience it for free for yourself if you so choose. Um, unless watching me play it was enough. It is very short. Um... Very short visual novel thing. But yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you for making that game and thank you to everybody who came by for watching me play it. It was it was very fun. Um despite the um despite the the nerve wracking uh customer service experience. Yeah, let me go find somebody to raid in the meantime. But of course, for the rest of Spooky Week, I will be doing, I guess, it, this was actually kind of unintentional, um, but I will be doing more Yuri. Yay, Yuri! Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing Wednesday, but um, starting Friday, I am playing Signalis, the very spooky uh, German indie game. Um, and I say spooky, but I think it's actually like quite scary, so I've heard. Oh boy. Um... All I know about it is that it's scary and it's Yuri, and my very good friend, Virtual Hero V Ranger, um, bought it for me. So, um, of course, I have to I have to honor that. Um, wanna raid into a friend of yours? Sure, I can do that. Which which friend is this? I I I trust Slime's taste in streamers. I mean, I didn't I didn't really check who was who was going yet, but let's see. Dos Dosky Lee, huh? Okay. All right. Um, we will we will go check out Dosky Lee then. They are awesome as heck. I will take your word for it. Um, so let's go say hi to Dosky Lee, uh, who is doing just chatting, I guess. That's fine. We'll go say hi, and I hope to see you guys later in the week. You all have a wonderful and very very spooky night. Woo! Okay, start raid. Bye-bye, everybody!